Yo, what is up? It is your boy Airsoft Fat here bringing you a totally cool, awesome Airsoft review, I think. I don't know. I'm a little confused about this. I ordered a fucking high kappa. It's kind of hard to see. It's got toy written all over it. Here's the funny part about this. All that legal jumbo and mumbo about having to have an orange tip on everything sitting right there on that piece of paper. I'm not even pick the sticker sticked onto the wrapping. So I'm gonna get this unwrapped and show you what it all comes with. So this high kappa comes with literally a pinch of babies, probably less than 0.12, a gun where the magazine was almost ripped out. Really does look like this has been put through the ringer and it was already open when I opened it. So my guess is the UPS driver had a son with him today or their daughter and they just went, oh hey daddy, I see there's a fucking gun in this pack. Let me open it and play with it. Comes with plastic. Ah, that is depressing. Well, let's get it set up for the chrono test, I guess. So real quick for any airsoft company trying to make cheap, easy guns to sell for five bucks. Look at the mag down here. You were expected to pull the spring down, hold the spring, and load it. What little kid's gonna get that? Which clearly, this is for little kids. Well, hey, holds 12 rounds. Let's talk about this for a sec. They use these piece of crap, what I presume to be 0.12 BBs. So, let's, uh, let me set the chronograph up for 0.12s, I guess. So I guess we're gonna chrono it first with out the suppressor. Let's put it in. It's all ready to, Point it downward, press. 110. Okay, let's do three more shots. One oh eight, okay, okay. So it's better than their fucking puny ass 1911. 108 again. Let's uh let's get the suppressor on there. And of course, here it is with this crappy little suppressor. Point down and shoot. Oh, thing's not even on. One ten. Well, at least it's got some consistency. One eighteen. Okay. It didn't even fire that time. Okay, what the heck? Ah! Okay! You didn't want to shoot the other times, but when I put my hand in front of you, you shoot two babies at me. I guess on average you're getting 100 to 120. Let's aim for the stupid deer over here on the ground. So, it's so. Wow. That went directly diagonally down. Mind you, I'm trying to hold this level while aiming on my, while I'm leaning down to aim. That just curved to the, this is just, I think I got two more shots in here. Let's try it. It's not even, it's not even landing near the deer. Mind you, these are straight shots. Well, let me angle it and see if it'll reach it that way. Not a single thing. I got something fun we can do. All right, there it is. Got my point two fives loaded. Whew. So I guess listen, let this be a lesson to all you UK arms, your soft company like people. 
We're gonna charge five dollars or something. Maybe cost you eighty cents to make. Maybe drop the price. Maybe uh, make it function better. Maybe uh, don't cheap out and give that little point in the slide where our point in the mag where they can slide the spring to the side. Maybe you know, take some damn liberties from people like boomerangs and shit. So, let's see how accurate something you invest money in is. Mind you, what I'm about to use with an NC Star site is my G&G Raider CM16. So, let's see what investing around $100 will get you instead of five. Ready? Like a single fire is right for this. Let's see. Right on safe. Clear it. Pull the mag out. Clear it. And down on safety. Magazine empty. I'm gonna have to zoom out the camera for this. But uh. Whew. is terrific, terrible. I mean, like I said, it held up better than the UK arms. Where the fuck the trigger go? Where'd the trigger go now? But you know what you can do to these pieces of crap? That ain't a POS. This, however, is and they act like they're cool with a skeleton I uh, skeleton I slide. You know what you can do with this thing? You just take it like an axe, try to chop down a tree. The suppressor didn't even hold the gun. Are you kidding me? The suppressor? Didn't even hold it in. Ooh. I don't know. Would you say worth $5? Because it don't even work out as an axe for a tree. See? Just fell apart in my hands. 
You know what? I can salvage the spring. I get a 120 FPS spring. Yay! Let's just uh, finish the saddle mafia style. Jesus. That's it. That is. That is, says uh, one of the Jurassic Park series. Player. One of the Jurassic Park characters would say. That's a huge pile of shit. Seriously. Hi there. Huge. Huge. Pile of shit. It's a UK Arms. I'm coming for you next. And, uh, let's leave it like this, UK Arms. If uh, you can do any better than that, then I guess you're doing something right for a company. I understand this is not a UK Arms gun, nor is UK Arms sponsoring this ugly, atrocious channel. But, uh... I guess it's time to, uh, give it a burial, I guess. You know, kind of. Success! But yeah. I'm gonna leave it here and see if an airsoft gun tree grows. Give you guys an update by, uh, this time next year if it grows. I'm extremely disappointed, you like. I wanted a high kappa. I wanted a nice high kappa. Yeah, my first high kappa that I've ever owned. Sadly, extremely disappointing. But what do you expect paying five dollars? What does any airsofter, be it plinking around in the backyard or going to the field, gonna expect for five measly dollars? When you can spend ten and get a decently made Springer pocket pistol. Which surprisingly, shoots harder than that. It's been very soft fatty. Uh, yeah. Check the description. I've got a few channels that I want to kind of give a shout out to you, but I can't remember the names of them. I can't. I've been... I know, exhausted after doing a stupid review. But, uh, I don't know. This is... This is pure stupidity I wanted to do for fun. And... Sadly, poor Mr. Uh, off-brand UK Arms High Kappa just didn't stand up to the test. And, uh, I don't know, we will see if we can grow a tree out of it. And, uh, I don't know what I can do with the spring, because I was getting, for $5, it was shooting a lot better than the $10 one they had. By the same copy, which is the shitty little 1911. Because that was only shooting like 80 FPS, so... If you guys want to see, like, a Springer build... Or me try, like, to build my own gun, I guess, you know... I don't have to waste money on a Spring! BT Dubs. Shout out to my beautiful fan. Malice has gotten me to uh, many a places. Be it be the airsoft field, the local Burger King, or the local fat guy hangout. <laughs> um, nah, but seriously, don't waste your money on stupid little Springers. Invest, invest, invest. That is just a simple G and G, uh, M G and G Raider CM16. It's like 160 bucks with charger, battery, magazine, gun, some G&G &G BBs. Doesn't come with the NC Star, the NC Star Sight though. Let's spin ourselves, Fatty. I didn't mean for this video to get so long, but uh, I really hate crappy pistols that grandmas and soccer moms uh, get. Mind you, I purchased this my own fucking money. I knew this was going to be shit, but, uh, really? 
So if you guys would like to see me destroy another one of the cheap ass airsoft guns that I did a bulk unboxing quite a bit ago on. It's supposed to be for fatty wars, but the damn things don't even fucking really work. Let me know in the comment section down below. I am your typical fat guy here. Airsoft fatty. Take it easy, take it chill. Most of all, keep it real. Neck reveal! These boots are amazing!